Hello there, Tony Medley once again, and a nice warm welcome back to my workshop. Today's project, uh, I'm going to do a slimline uh, pen. Uh, and the reason I'm gonna do that, I've been purchasing some blanks from, uh, from eBay. Um, I was watching Wayne the Wood Turner, and he said that there was some um, cheese boards made from um, olive wood. So I got straight on and purchased them. Unfortunately, uh, they're sought out straight away. Um, but they were a brilliant buy. Uh, as we all know, uh, olive wood is native to Portugal, Spain, and I think Greece. Uh, but it's a very expensive wood. So um, I thought I'll make a pen, the slimline pen, and just see how it goes. For the people who've never made pens, obviously it's, e it's a lot cheaper um to cut your own blanks and if you make them 20 millimeters square about three to four millimeters longer than the blankets or uh, the uh, the brass insert and then all we do is drill a seven millimeter hole through the center of it and then glue that in place but i'll go through step by step just for the people who, who've never made a pen before Put the piece of olive wood in the um, the pen chuck, and all I'm going to do is just drill through nice and slow, so that it will fit the brass tube. What I forgot to say was it's better if when you cut the blanks that you put a mark down it it's easier later on once they're cut and all glued up that you can match the grain up so if you can see there the grain matches perfectly just take it very very easy and drill through Always clean the swarf off as it's going through. Don't use your fingers because it hurts when it gets hot and I won't tell you how I found that out. All we're gonna do now with the barrel trimmer is just go down to the brass tube. Just scrape it off, you can see, wind it in and just until you get the brass tube and then do the other, the other end as well. All you need is so that it goes down to the brass tube, you can see just there um, on both ends and then uh, we're ready to put it into the mandrel. The way that is put onto the pen mandrel is a little spacer in between And if you remember when I said the two, we mark them up so that they're aligned for the grain and then the end mandrel. So all you've got is the, uh, the spaces in between and then you bring your tailstock up, tighten it up and then it's ready for turning.
Um, what I find best is to finish it uh, after the four coats of a high gloss wax, I put the final coat of micro crystalline wax and all it's for is to save all of the, uh, the fingerprints that's going to get on it. Um, I think the best way to do it is to put the four coats of high gloss wax on, final coat, leave it for 20 minutes and then give it a real good buffing and then that should do it. All we've got to do now is assemble the pen and within the kit you get various pieces and the way that I always like to do it is to put the um, the writing end in first for want of a better word so you choose which which part of the grain you want to use Obviously all you do is put that part in and press it together. And push it on. Then you have the mechanism what holds the refill in. So you put the little brass tube in and get that ready for what I find it to do, it's got a little mark on it. Just take it approximately two millimeters so it's still got it to go on it so it still needs to go in a little bit more and just take it in till you get it the right size screw that all a little bit more and you keep doing that till it gets to the right length or the required length so as you turn it there it's going you can see it now it's starting to come out I think it just wants a little touch more Try that and obviously it's not pushing out protruding out the end then turn it round and it will come out sorry there. it's not protruding out the end turn it to the right and that comes out so that's what we need to have it like that the next part is to put the clip end on and the top And all you do is put the little gold coloured top on it and then we're going to push that home. If you turn it round to whereabouts you want it, so Until it's pushed right the way home then all that leaves is for the little center ring to go on push the little center ring on
follow path that and there we have a perfect pen well I finally got it done and I must say the grain on that is outstanding absolutely perfect um, I must say that the refill that I put in this one, uh, I bought some from Taylor's and Merfield. It's the rollerball type, uh, as you can see, it moves in and out. But the perfect for writing, absolutely superb. Uh, I just can't get over the beauty of that grain. Uh, it's nature at its best. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that video. I've, tr I'll tr I've tried to make it as short as possible, but obviously we have got people who've never made a pen before. Anyway. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe and I'd like to take this opportunity for the people who have subscribed, who've taken the time to subscribe and I guarantee that it's absolutely free. Um, so all I can say is bye for now and I'll catch up with you on the next video. Bye.